hello. This video is to help you get started with Spark. Um, this, what you're looking at is a Spark homepage when you're logged in and when you have a bunch of projects. So just uh, acknowledge that yours will look a little bit different. Uh, first, you'll need to start a Spark account. If you go to spark.adobe.com, it's up here at the top. Don't worry about the SP, but spark.adobe.com. Um, I suggest that you start your account with your UA email. Uh, that way you have this separate uh, account um, that you're using for school. And also if later in your academic career um, you decide that you want to use UA's uh, Adobe Creative Cloud license, uh, the, the Spark account and your Adobe account through the U of A will connect. Um, so get logged in. Again, once you're logged in, this might look slightly different, but the main thing you're looking for up here at the top of my page is a blue plus button. That button is start a new project. Um, so I'm going to click that button. You're going to look for something like that and you're going to start a new project. Now Spark technically has three different um, types of uh, publishing. Uh, we're not doing video, but I suggest you play with it. Uh, post uh, think of post as a really cool way to edit uh, a, an image and text together. So it's just one specific um, uh, type of image. Uh, think of it as like making a meme. Um, what we're doing is pages. So for your U of A ePortfolio, writing program ePortfolio, you want to do a page. So go ahead and click plus page. Uh, and then um, then the sky's the limit. Uh, what you'll probably want to do is up here in the upper right hand corner, click themes and start looking at themes you might take. Ooh, I'm a Trekkie fan. I want to do that. And so play with themes. There's lots of different ones. Um, this is where you're going to get in trouble and you're going to go down a rabbit hole and there's going to be time lost because you're going to be playing with all this stuff. Um, but go ahead and pick a theme that you think you want to start with. You can go back and change themes later. Uh, you'll probably want to uh, at least do something to start. Again, you can uh, change everything later. Did I spell that right? Yes, I did. Uh, maybe do something like this. Um, again, you can change these later, but at least doing this kind of titles it and gives you a, a good space, especially if you start building multiple um, Spark publications. Uh, so this is how you get started. Um, and I just want to show you that it's easy to edit. Uh, again, themes you play, actually editing the, the header title thing uh, isn't, but you can add a photo to it. Uh, please notice that they, you can do find free photos. If you're not supplying your own photos, I highly, highly suggest you do something like this uh, because then you know you're using photos that are licensed appropriately. Uh, you're not breaking copyright. So I kind of like this one with the heart. Okay, so that sets up that home page and then you can just start adding content. I scrolled down there, start adding content uh, and notice there's uh, ways to edit images and text and all that. In another video, I'm going to show you how to do that. And I'm also going to link out to resources that help with that. So the first thing is you want to start it. The important thing to remember is you're starting it and you're starting it as a page. Now, once you've tinkered for a while, you want to come up here to share. This is, this is the publishing that you'll need to do for the course. So notice you pick a category, education, that's what we're doing. Uh, author, you'll probably leave it like that. On just means you're officially associated with it. Um, now, this is something I highly suggest. If you use the photo credits, uh, leave that there. Let it publish, and I'll show you what happens in a second. Because remember, I found that photo using their search. Um, I, now here's an interesting thing, get notice, your project may be featured. I actually usually turn that off because I don't necessarily want my projects pushed um, to an Adobe front page. Uh, and it's not necessarily front page. Uh, they, they, they vet what goes on a front page, but it's in a place where you can search for it. Um, so checking all these and then create link. 
and it takes a second. So here is your link for your ePortfolio, and this link will always stay the same. So if I come up here, I copied and pasted the link in, there's my published Spark, and notice I scroll down here and there's the credits, so by picking that image that they uh, found for me, it built in credits. I can't stress how useful that is. Um, and just so you know, uh, notice it's showing U of A. I set mine up. I quote unquote branded it. You that may not show up on yours. Um, maybe if I have my act together, I can show make a different video showing folks how to do that if they want. Um, so published. Now here's and the important thing. You're going to want to publish it because you're going to have to submit this as a draft, but then you're going to make changes. So I'm going to go in here. I'm back in my editing mode. And I'm going to make changes. So I just want to make enough changes so you see that it's different. Okay, so notice if I come to share again, it says update link. Now, I made those changes, but if I come over to, this is the published one, I hit refresh, the changes are not there. I have to update the link. I have to reshare. It's basically pushing up the updated version before those changes will be visible. Okay, so it's not a new link. I don't have to copy this link again. But if I come back over to this page and I hit refresh, Voila, there's the additional text I added. So this is really important before you submit your final portfolio for the class, after you've made all of your changes in um, Spark editing mode, you're gonna wanna come up and do this. So let's do it one more time, final change. You're gonna come up to share and you're gonna have to hit this update link. If you don't do that, um, your classmates, your instructor, that's for a grade, will not be able to see uh, your changes and to grade the most recent version. Uh, so it's very important you remember this. Thank you for your time.